and an ultra is an experience where you get to hate everything for a second and then embrace it and love it. Um, you you got to be miserable. For me, ultra running doesn't happen until you find that bottom, that rock bottom, until it all hurts so bad that you want to stop. feeling right now pretty good actually um, not really as nervous as I was expecting I'm just kind of ready to get going and get started so kind of excited actually should be fun when I met Joe he was out of shape unhealthy and spent a lot of time concentrating on work and school he just didn't have a lot of confidence and I, I think that's the biggest difference. He has more faith in himself and more confidence in himself. You know, I think that part of it is that he just, he knows what he's capable of. Like, he's, he's pushed his body to these crazy limits at this point. And, you know, I, th I think it does give you a new sense of yourself. Joe's a very cool guy. He's very laid back and he's fun to talk to. Um, he paced me at two of my hundreds last year. Um, we run some of the same events throughout the year and um, I, without even questioning it, like, I was like, dude, you need a pacer at Buffalo, I'm there. So I started ultra running about four years ago. Uh, since then I've run maybe about a half a dozen 50Ks, about, you know, about the same 50 mile distance. Uh, and this will be my first 100 mile distance. It's a new thing for me, so I'm gonna be very anxious. Um, but I'm excited to go out and, and do it and, and, and be out there and, and see what I can do, see what I can push myself to do. Starts at 12. It is what it is. 90% of any ultra marathon is finished in your head before you ever put your foot on the starting line. You arrive, there's a certain level of excitement that reaches a bursting point and the race begins which is a great relief because if you had to stand there much longer in the beginning, it becomes unbearable. What you been listening to? <laughs> Anything. San Fermin, you know them? Kind of an indie band. As we started the race, I was pretty hyped up. I think that's pretty normal. Uh, just get caught up in the excitement. I don't think you, physically you can run 100 miles. Your body will only ever be so strong, so you will burn everything up physically, and then the rest of it you do with your mind. Night running is no different than running during the day. There's the devils and the demons of the dark. 
but at the same time, it's no different in the dark than it is in, in the light, as long as you have light. You know, little trip tips like that, but running at nighttime is, it's cool. It seems quieter, it seems like there's just more solitude out there than even during the day. So it's, it's, it's a fun experience. We don't do it enough, I don't think, because we sleep at night. If he gets past 80, I don't see him quitting. Um, but it would be between 60 and 70, but I really don't think he'll quit. I, I think he's done his training and he's done his homework. He's, and he's on track for a good finish uh, tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's, it gets hardest between about mile 60 and mile 75. You, you, you kind of just hit a really big low point. At least historically for me, that's when I want to quit the most. But, uh, that's when you end up walking a lot, and then later on you're like, why did I walk that? So it's, I don't know, it goes up and down. It's it, it's kind of a, it, it's crazy. You know, these distances are they're really challenging, and more mentally than physically. It's, it's, it's definitely all in your head for a lot of it. The mental aspect is, I've always said the first 30 miles are tough because you get sore. The next 40 miles are even tougher because you've gone a long way, you're already sore, but you still have a long way to go. The mental power has to kick in, and you really have to just say, you know, I can do this. I will be done in seven hours. I'll be done in 10 hours or whatever it is. You have to tell yourself that because you know you're going to feel better when you're done. It's all comes, it all comes down to we do this because we like the finish, not because we like the pain in the middle. For me, ultra running doesn't happen until you find that bottom, that rock bottom, until it all hurts so bad that you want to stop. It's very easy to let negativity creep in when you know, you're, you're hurting and, and stuff, and, and it's just really important not to allow that to happen. As I started getting towards the last 25 miles, that's when I started having uh, a little bit of breathing issues, shortness of breath. Um, so I had to deal with that for the rest of the race. That never really went away. I picked Joe up at about mile 85, and he was basically wasted. It was her first time pacing, but uh, so she didn't necessarily know the pacing role as much, but she knows me uh, certainly better than anyone. I knew, though, that he was going to be really upset with himself if he took too long to finish. So, like the drill sergeant that I am, <laughs> I just kind of kept, I was like, all right, this pace is not acceptable, you know, like, <laughs> you need to move along. And she just, uh, she did a phenomenal job as well, just kind of getting me to the finish line. So I felt like... Yeah, like if I could cross the finish line with him um, for his first hundred, that I would feel a little bit like, you know, okay. And now I'm actively supporting and yeah. Ultra runners choose to do this. We, we, we go out of our way to, <laughs> to embrace all this nonsense just so we can, what, get a buckle at a finish line? Like, that sounds, that, I don't even like saying it because it makes me sound like I need to be put away. It's so unique. It is such a unique thing because it is so physical and it is so, you know, mental, psychological. It's, I don't know, <laughs> it, it, it's hard to explain to people that don't do it. I do it because I like it. Nobody should run because if they hate it. It's good to run to be fit. Those are the people that run on, on the treadmill at the gym. They want to be fit, which is, which is great, but you should really run because you want to get, you want to get out somewhere, you know? You really want to be in a room with a bunch of people. I don't know, I'd, I'd run to escape. Escape might be a better word, you know? It's building a mountain that you can't see the top of and ascending it trying so hard at something that seems so arbitrary and so frivolous and so stupid, but I love it. When people call me crazy, that is the biggest compliment. <laughs>